Okay, welcome back to more videos about calculus. From now on, we're going to be looking at applications of calculus. Okay, so it's in the other videos, we were just looking at the basic rules that let us differentiate things, but now we're going to look at how that's useful, why, why it is useful, basically. So as we know, dy dx gives us the slope of the tangent. Well, that's supposed to be an at any point okay so always bear that in mind so it gives the slope of the tangent at any point another way they might say this they might say it's the change of y with respect to x but uh, that doesn't really make much sense really. the slope of the tangent is much easier to think about okay so generally we don't want to think of the slope of the tangent at any point they'll want to ask us maybe say for example the slope of the tangent at this point here so at x is equal to 3 we'll say Ooh. okay pretend that's a tangent there so at x is equal to 3 uh, what's the slope of that tangent? So that tells us how the curve is changing at that point, okay, which is quite useful. So what we'll do is we'll differentiate it first. So actually first I have to give you the, the name of the curve. So we're going to say this is y is equal to 4x squared minus 3x plus 7, okay? So we'll do this in pink. So dy dx then is equal to, so if remember our rules from the last one, it'll be 8x minus 3, and then that'll go to 0. So this is our dy dx. So this gives us the slope at any point, but again, they're asking us for at x is equal to 3. So I'm going to write that over here in red. And then I'm going to say at x is equal to 3 then, our dy dx is going to be equal to 8 multiplied by 3 minus 3, so you just sub in your x into your dy dx here. Does that make sense? So anytime we have x, you put in 3. So then our dy dx will be equal to 24 minus 3, which is equal to 21. Okay? So the slope of the, this tangent here, the pink one, uh, at x is equal to 3, the slope of that tangent is 21. Okay? And that just tells us, it tells us a lot about the curve, how much it's changing and stuff like that, which will more apparent when we're talking about it'll be even more applied it won't be talking about just curves it'll be talking about uh, I don't know maybe the speed of something so we'll see how differentiation is the same as the speed okay there's another way they could ask this question they could ask find where this curve here find where the slope is increasing or decreasing or find where the curve is increasing or decreasing so as we can see here so to say this is say the bottom point everywhere here it's increasing because it's getting bigger and then everywhere here it's decreasing okay so you always read it from left to right this is decreasing because the curve is getting smaller and this is increasing so another way of seeing this is you have to calculate the slope so at x is equal to 3 we can see that the uh, curve is increasing because the slope is positive so it's getting bigger it's going in this direction and then say for example if we we said here x is equal to 3 if we want to calculate it at this point here we'll say which is x is equal to minus 3, so I'll do our dy dx here, so I'm going to say at x is equal to minus 3, our dy dx is equal to 8 by minus 3 minus 3, which is going to be equal to 24 minus 3, or sorry, minus 24 minus 3, is equal to minus 27. Okay, so obviously minus 27 is decreasing, so we can see that the slope is decreasing, or the, uh, the curve is decreasing at this point. Okay, so the kind of ways they'll say, but generally it means they'll ask to find the slope of the curve at this point, or they'll ask you to find the change of y with respect to x. But if they ask you that in a confusing way, just remember, you're just about finding the slope using dy dx. Okay, I hope this video helped, and we'll see you next time.